Hi students, welcome. Let's do question 50. Yeah? You see that it is uh, drawn on the board. Yeah, The diagram is uh, over here, number 50. And it says uh, P, Q, R are given. Okay, So P, Q and R are given. They're all labeled. And uh, the line P, S is parallel to the line Q, R. So um, it's nice to put this so that you can see it directly from the diagram. And it says angle P, R, S is 90, which is already drawn here. Find the equation of PS and RS. So you're looking for PS and you're looking for RS. So remember, in order to find equation of a straight line, you need the gradient of the line and you need a point, which you have. Let's look at PS first. Okay, let's look at PS, yeah? So for PS, we have a point. All you need is the gradient. And how can you find the gradient of PS? Remember, it is parallel to QR. So you can find the gradient of QR because there are two points given. So... We're looking for PS, right? So M of PS is equal to M of QR, right? And M of QR would be 1 minus minus 1, that's 1 plus 1, over 4 minus 1. So that's 2 over 3. So that's the gradient of PS. And you have a point, so you may directly substitute now. Y minus Y1 equals to M x minus x1, right? So y minus y1 is 2. Substitute the point that passes through the line PS, yeah? So that's point P equals to the gradient is 2 over 3. That will be x minus minus 1. So that's x plus 1. So y is equals to 2 over 3x plus 2 over 3 plus 2. So therefore, y is equals to 2 over 3x plus 6. So that's 8 over 3. All right. And to make it look nice, you may multiply everything with a 3. So giving you 3y equals to 2x plus 8. And that is the equation of the line PS. So now we're going to find the equation of the line RS. Okay. RS. This is RS, yeah? Again, you need gradient and you need a point. So RS passes through point R, which you have here. So that's fine. You have a point. All you need now is the gradient. So RS, how do you find the gradient of RS? Well, uh, can you see that it is perpendicular to PR? Okay, so you cannot find it directly, but indirectly you can find it because it is perpendicular to PR. So the gradient of RS is the inverse of the gradient of PR. So let's find the gradient of PR first. Uh, okay, we're not doing B yet. We're doing, uh, we're looking for the equation of the line RS, yeah? So to find this, you find gradient of PR first. Okay, M of PR would be 1 minus 2 over 4 minus minus 1 is 4 plus 1. So that's negative 1 over 5. That's M of PR. So M of RS would be the inverse of this. So when you inverse, the shortcut is just inverse the number and also inverse the sign. So 1 over 5 inverted becomes 5 and negative inverted becomes positive. So the gradient is positive 5. Now you may substitute Y minus Y1. Okay, let's just directly put it in. Y minus Y1. So we're looking for RS, remember? So the point is R, yeah? The point is R. So Y minus 1 is equals to the gradient is 5 and X minus 4. So that's Y equals to 5X minus 20 plus 1. So that is Y equals to 5X minus 19. And that is the equation for the line RS. Okay, that's uh, RS. Now let's look at B. B says find the coordinates of point S. So this is what you're going to find. You've got to find the coordinates of point S, which is this coordinate. Yeah, okay. To find the coordinate of point S, um, well, there is nothing that you can use directly from a diagram. So in order to find S, it is the intersection point of RS and PS, right? Which you have. See this? This is the equation of the line PS and the equation of the line RS. You have both of the equation, right? So you have to make use of what you have found in A in order to find B. 
to find the point of intersection, you just have to solve the two equation. All right. So that means I have to solve this two equation. I have to solve this equation and this equation. All right. And I will use the simultaneous equation method to solve it. So uh, let's do it over here. Put it down. All right. So to find B, Y is 5X minus 90. I'm going to just substitute directly. Yeah? So 3 y is 5x minus 19 equals to 2x plus 8. So 15x minus 57 is equals to 2x plus 8. So that is 13x is equals to 65. And so x is 5. So you have found x is 5. That is the x-coordinate of point x over uh, point s over here. Yes, x-coordinate. So now let's find the y-coordinate by substituting into this. Okay, so y would equal to 5 times 5 minus 19. That is a 6. All right, so hence the coordinate of point s would equal to 5 and 6. And finish. This is the complete answer for question 50. Yeah, so um, this is how some SPM question will look like. And we will do question 51 in the next video.